Elite Gaming. How are you doing guys? It's Andrew at Elite Gaming HQ. In today's video, I want to talk to you about SSDs. Are they worth the money and do you need them? I decided to do this video because I've been building PCs for people and they've been asking me in my email, should I get an SSD or do I even need an SSD? First, let me explain what an SSD is. So an SSD is basically flash memory drive. To not get too much into it, it's a little bit different than your standard mechanical drive because of the fact that it doesn't have any moving parts. So it's basically all flash memory. And now there's a advantages to that and disadvantages. All SSDs aren't created equal, but they're generally going to be about four to five times faster than your mechanical drive, assuming you get a name brand. I've seen some really slow ones out there. They do have limitations though. They are traveling information through SATA, and SATA has a limitation of about 600 megabytes a second. But not to worry, that is extremely fast, especially if you've never had an SSD before. Now to address the first question, do you need one? Well, no, you don't need one, but I can give you a couple examples of where it's gonna be very useful. For games that take a very long time to load, SSDs are great. Now you can't quote me on this exactly. I may be off by a couple seconds, but I have read an article before where they take the standard mechanical hard drive out of a PS4 and they give it computer performance by installing an SSD. And what that did for them is Grand Theft Auto is notoriously long to load. With the 5900 RPM stock PS4 drive, their average load times they were getting was a minute and 42 seconds. A minute and 42 seconds. Can you imagine that? Waiting that long just to play your game when they put an SSD in, the load times were sub one minute. And on some gaming computers, it'll be a lot less than that. So everything sounds great, right? So what are the advantages and disadvantages? Well, first let me talk about the disadvantages because I've seen other videos on this and people were absolutely wrong. I saw this one guy talking about them being more reliable and all this other stuff. They're not really more reliable. Reliable. He was basically saying that they never fail and that's not true They actually have a life cycle and they degrade over time the longer you have them the worse they perform when you buy an SSD In most cases you're gonna probably have to replace it in about two to three years Which if you're building a computer all the time or if you're somebody like me who constantly add drives to your computer and reformat the whole thing Then it's not really a problem But just keep in mind that it can and will fail the other problem is right now the markets at about 50 or 60 dollars for 120 gigabyte SSD if you can find a real deal you can get a two 40 for 60 dollars now to put that in perspective a western digital one terabyte blue can be picked up for 50 bucks so it's a little more than four times the price for an ssd that's another huge disadvantage but let's look at the advantages the advantages are quick boot most people install their OS and you know web browsers, things that need very fast read write speed to their SSD and they benefit from it majorly. You could get an SSD that just has your basic programs on, install everything else you need including your one terabyte Steam library on your mechanical hard drive and then refresh your computer anytime you run into a virus or a major error. That could be one advantage for an SSD. Another one is you could give your hard drive a break. So a lot of people in these PC builds recommend these western digital caveat blues. I get it, it's a great drive, I recommend it myself. But the thing is, the drive's rated for an 8 hour day. Now you're probably sitting there thinking, well I don't play games for 8 hours, so it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, that's true, you might not. But say you're sitting home on a Saturday, and you're watching movies, you're web browsing, you're playing games, and before you know it, you know it's 10 o'clock at night. You've actually been on your computer for 16 hours. Well that could have a huge detriment to that drive. In this video I watched, I saw a guy complain that his hard drive failed, and he lost everything on his computer. But somewhere else in the video, he says he never shuts down his computer. He only restarts it once a month. So he overused his drive. Of course the spinning hard drive is going to fail. Yeah, the drives do go to sleep when the computer goes to sleep, but you're overworking your drives. So if you have an SSD, let's say, and all your media files are in another drive, but the main game you're playing is on your SSD, you're giving your mechanical drive breaks so that it can make up for its duty cycle. So that this way, you don't overwork it. Me personally, I used to use an SSD. I don't even use one of them anymore. I use an M.2 drive, which used my PCI bus, but that's a completely different video and they're a lot faster. Put it in perspective, if the SSD, let's assume, is four to five times faster, than your standard 7200 RPM mechanical hard drive. My M.2 reads about three times faster than that SSD. It writes about the same speed, but most of everything you're doing is all reading anyway, so that's a step above. And then there's drives that completely use your PCI Express. They're a little bit higher on the price range. I don't want to get into all that because we're talking about SSDs. Just keep in mind, if you ever do buy an M.2 drive, I just want to give you some advice. They bolt directly into your motherboard, and the sockets they have, the connections are different. They can be different. There's some that are universal, but you have to keep that in mind. And the advantage of a drive like that is it tops off at around four gigabytes per second, where at SSD. SSD, as I mentioned earlier, is about 600 megabytes. So the answer to everything is no, you don't need an SSD. Are they nice? Yes. Anytime someone builds a computer, when they get around seven or eight hundred dollars, I recommend them get an SSD because it's a luxury that's really nice to have. You don't have to go overboard like I did. I only play games off of SSDs and I only boot off my M.2. But, you know, computer is where I put a lot of my expendable income. A logical person that uses a computer on a normal basis.
Asus would just probably have one SSD, probably 120 gigabyte and one terabyte hard drive. Now let's get into content creation. If you guys are YouTubers and you're thinking about SSDs, for one, the storage isn't really there. Unless you pay, you know, $300 to get a one terabyte SSD. That's kind of where they're at right now. But if you render your videos off an SSD, your render times are going to be greatly improved, but I wouldn't even spend $300 for a 1TB hard drive. Storage is important, and for content creators, I'd recommend probably a 3TB mechanical hard drive and 120 to 240 gigabyte SSD. And as soon as I see some deals on some good SSDs, I'll put them in my tech videos of the week, and that's going to be every Sunday. So hopefully I find some, and then maybe you guys could try one out. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble about SSDs. I'll catch you guys on the next one. My name's Andrew, and this is Elite Gaming HQ. Thanks guys.